Thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. And if you're brand new joining in, thank you so much. I am so glad you are here. Today we're opening some Crybaby's Magic Tears pets, and I am so excited. Ever since I opened the Crybaby's Magic Bottle House and I saw these pets on the checklist, I could not wait to get my hands on them. And now they're finally here. So let's go ahead and get started and see which pets we're gonna get. Okay guys, so before we get these open, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So there were four different colors, I believe, of the containers. I picked up this teal one and also the pink one over there, but they also had a purple and a peach color. And on the front, they say Cry Babies Magic Tears Pets. There are three surprises included. So we have our pet, a sippy bottle, and a personalized sticker sheet. And on the side, it says there are 12 pets to collect. Also, we can find rare golden accessories, so that's fun. Let's go ahead and get this open. So, when we remove the plastic wrapping, we can see a little pacifier on the front, and it looks like this door just pops open from the top. Yep. And inside, here is our bottle and our pet. Oh, it looks like there's also a checklist. And here are stickers, but I don't want to spoil the surprise, so we're not going to look at those quite yet. So on this side, we have a beautiful scene of the Cry Babies universe. You can see some of the babies with the pets, and the pets look so, so cute. So here is the actual checklist, and we have a rare flamingo named Flo. That's really cute. And here are the rest. Oh look, there's one named Lulu. How adorable. I am hoping to get Gina because I have a little crybaby uh, that goes with Gina. So I have Gigi, but they all look super cute. So let's take a look at our little bottle. So we have a pink and teal bottle, and these are really similar to the bottles that come with the crybabies. All right, guys, let's see our pet. Oh, it looks like a bird. It is, it's a little parrot. So we have a little red parrot and he has some blue feathers on his head and around his neck. And he also has some blue and yellow feathers on his wings and his tail. And he just looks so, so cute. He or she, I should say. And they also have some bright blue eyes and a little bee. So let's go ahead and see who this is. Oh, cool. So we have Rita. And it looks like they are a musician. So we have some bongos, some maracos, a little guitar. And they go with this baby right here. Let's check out what their baby's name is. So Rita is Lori's pet. So let's put Rita over here with her bottle and we'll open this one and then we'll get some water and see if we can make our pets cry. Although I don't know that I want my pets to be crying. So here we have the pink container and it looks like we have the same color bottle. So I guess maybe these are the same for all the pets unless you get the golden one. Or hopefully that's the case. I hope we didn't get a double. Oh my gosh, I can't get the stickers. Alright, we're not gonna look at those yet. Okay guys, so let's see who we got. Oh, I see green. Oh my gosh, look at this one. He is so, so cute. He or she, I should say. Oh my gosh, they're a little turtle. Guys, I love turtles. I used to collect turtles as a child. I have a huge box full of toy turtles. So this one is just so cute, so adorable. Oh my gosh, I am in love. <laughs> He's so cute. So we have a little green turtle. He has beautiful teal eyes. 
He has a little bit of rouge on his cheeks and a little pink bow around his neck. And on the back, you can see his little turtle shell. He is so cute. So this one, oh, it looks like we lost a sticker when I was trying to get them out of the container. Maybe it's stuck to our checklist. Oh yeah, there it is. Go ahead and put that right back here and pretend that didn't happen. So we have Lottie or Lodi. I think it's Lottie, but look at this little picture of them. Oh my gosh, and the baby is so cute. We also have some ABC blocks and a little rocking horse, a kite, some more blocks, and a plant. Super adorable. So let's see who their owner is. So here is Lottie, and it looks like Lottie's baby is named Turgui or Tur Turgi. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, but I think it's Turgui. Alright guys, so I have a cup of water here and let's go ahead and see if we can make our little baby pets cry. Although, again, I don't know why you would want your pets to cry, <laughs> but I just want to see if it actually works. So let's fill up their bottle. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Oh, oh my gosh. I guess these ones do not have a lot of space in their head because those tears were shooting out of, their, out of their eyes. But you can see he is crying. Poor baby pet. I guess you can't. Oh, yep, you can. So it looks like there's a button on the back of their head and that's actually what you push to get the tears out. That's actually really convenient because with the crybaby dolls, it's really hard to get the water out. So I like that they include this little button. And now let's do Lottie. Do I need the water one? Oh, <laughs> there we go. So there he is crying, poor baby. So I guess the only thing I would be concerned about is whether pushing this button actually gets all of the tears out because you do not want water left in your toy because it can get moldy inside of the toy. So I really hope that by pushing this button it gets it all out. So I was literally wrapping up this video when I realized that there is a compartment in the container here and if you pop the lid, you could find the golden accessory. However, both of my containers unfortunately <laughs> just have this little sad tear. So that's disappointing. So guys, that concludes our opening of the Crybaby's Magic Tears Pets. So what are my thoughts? Well, obviously these guys are so cute. Rita is so colorful and beautiful, but Lottie really stole my heart. I love her face. I love how she's sitting down. I love her little bow tie. She is just too adorable. My only qualm with these toys is the price. So each of these was $8 at Target, which seems okay at first when you're looking at the container and the bottle, but the actual size of the figures is quite small for $8 in my opinion. But that's just what I think. I would love to know what you guys think. Also, let me know who is your favorite, Rita or Lottie. You can contact me on my Instagram. It's at Lulu's Toy Review. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe or follow if you feel inclined. And have a great day and also stay safe. Bye.